Okay, Happy, let's go find the trail. Looking for the trail, looking for the trail. Should be over here somewhere. Come on. Good dog, good dog. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, lovely lords and ladies of YouTubia. Welcome to another thrill minute, action packed, exceptionally dog and mountain bike filled episode of Twisted Trails Riding Deep. Earlier today, Mr. Uh, Titus and I went uh, for a sweet walk. Um, he is doing very well. He is still definitely not ready to, uh, to go trail riding like happy is so mr. man is uh, left behind at the house uh, where he's much safer as is the general public so that's good uh, so happy and I oh, are out here got a couple happy come nope leave him alone so happy is learning to leave people alone happy come happy come come here we got a couple riders in front of us. Happy, good girl. Good girl, stay. Stay. So now we'll give Happy a treat. Happy, come here. A good dog. We'll give Happy a treat because she did as I asked. Also, we want to go ahead and let those, uh, there's a couple teenagers that just rode ahead of us. I want to get them ahead of us as far as possible so Happy doesn't chase them. She is a uh, high, High predator instinct, being a, a border collie and pointer, or something or other mixed. Um, sweet girl, but loves to chase things. So things would include uh, other people. <laughs> so we can't have that. All right. Well, I, uh, if you'll notice, I do have a new mount. I've had this for a while, but just kind of cobbled this together to where I can actually mount it on my chest. We'll see how that works, and uh, you guys and gals, let me know what you think. And uh, we're going to continue on here. All right, let's get riding. Okay, so this is uh, angle number one. We'll do a, a couple, few angles. and see what uh, we think is best. So right now, I am not sure. But we are about to find out. <laughs> I I do have COVID, by the way. Um, currently, I guess. I don't know how long it takes to uh, completely run its course, but I've, I started getting sick with COVID last Friday. And good girl, go pee -pees. Last Friday and uh, really, really got sick by Saturday of last week to the point where I was... <clears throat> incapacitated and in bed I just kept getting fevers and oh, fevers and headaches and really terribly sore throat then it started moving into my lungs and that's where it's at currently um, but obviously not too horrible um, I'm surviving and I can't say it's too fun um, Again, it's been seven days really since it started, and I just kind of feel like my lungs really just hurt right now, and they are quite full of stuff. I won't go too horribly into detail with that, but uh, definitely got some recovering still to do. So this, this ride is not gonna be horribly long. Um, and I'm leaving the bike in uh, EMTV mode instead of my usual tour mode because uh, I think it'll be a little easier on me um, than tour. Okay, keep moving, Happy. Oh, Happy, stop. All right, we caught up to the other kids there. Happy stop. Oh, 
of the interesting things about the Bosch uh, e-bike motor um, and the EMTV mode is that you kind of how to put this um, I kind of feel like it delivers power a little unevenly so uh, for instance I just was coming up that hill and at the very bottom it didn't give me a whole lot of power it was probably like echo mode level which is ah uh, geez I want to say 20% 40% of my own power and then by the time I got to the top I felt like it was uh, almost turbo level which is 360% which I don't know I, I'm not sure I really like an un uneven distribution of power that's not chosen by me seems a bit uh, questionable it's a lot of power though <laughs> That's what that was all about. Particularly uh, nerve-wracking on those uh, ladders, the little bridge obstacles that we have here. All right, there's a good climb. Not that I'm complaining, I suppose, because that is a lot of power guys and gals this Bosch motor and this Cannondale habit is fun so we have three peaks loop and sidewinders yes please Happy. Happy. Are you doing so fun? You're having so much fun. Yeah, she's having a blast. All right, so to uh, answer the question that no one's ever asked, um, I am riding a Cannondale Habit, Neo Habit 4. And it is a fantastic electric bicycle, uh, electric assist. It has the Bosch motor Gen 4. Pretty darn amazing. It's got a helm fork up front. It's got Maxxis Asagai front tire. Amazing, 2.6 in size and just an outstanding tire. I've also got a Butcher Grid from Specialized. And this is the Butcher Grid Trail to be specific. And uh, it is an absolutely outstanding braking tire. It's supposed to be a front tire, but I'm using it for the rear. Man, I am really, really happy with it. So, figured I'd go with a uh, little less expensive tire in the back just to uh, save a little money. And I, I'd heard good things about it. Happy over there is doing really well. This is uh, probably her sixth or seventh trail ride with me. And she is doing great. Yeah, she hasn't chased anybody too badly, which is nice. Uh, my name is Shannon. Um, and I am uh, middle-aged. <laughs> I've been uh, riding for a long time, um, 28 years roughly, and just in case you missed the last video. But, um, and uh, just coming back from COVID. So I caught COVID last Friday, and uh, well, I didn't catch it last Friday. It really started to show last Friday, and then uh, by Friday night I was pretty darn sick all the way from Saturday through Sunday morning I was in bed with fever and chills and all the stuff that it really felt like a gnarly flu to me it wasn't very much fun at all and then uh, Sunday morning when I noticed that I didn't have any taste or smell kind of figured it was uh, probably COVID and uh, I don't know about you guys but this whole almost two years now um, this is November 2021 um, almost this whole two years that we're 
going on now with COVID. I kept waiting. I thought every single cold or flu that I had was uh, definitely COVID. <laughs> well, this time I lost my sense of smell and taste, which really sucks, by the way. It makes me very, literally sad. Actually, I feel depressed about that because um, I like flavor. And uh, so I went to the hospital, got tested, and sure enough, I do indeed have COVID. Uh, again, that's been a week, seven days, and um, really the only symptom I have left now is my lungs hurt, and I've got quite a bit of uh, croup and stuff. My throat hurts a little bit, but nothing as bad as it uh, as it did last week or even a couple days ago. So it's gotten better progressively every single day of the week, and uh, I'm happy for that. I did get the Johnson & Johnson vaccine back in uh, June, June 24th and caught COVID anyway, and got sick from it, regardless. So I don't even know what that means. Maybe uh, the COVID affected me a little bit less because I had the uh, the vaccine. If so, awesome. Um, when I did get the vaccine, I got rather sick. I got sick for a day and felt exact, almost exactly the same way, although I didn't lose my senses of uh, taste and, and smell. That was a very loud crow. Uh, so, Happy and I are out here in Three Peaks, getting a little ride in. I just wanted to uh, go out for maybe an hour today and uh, get a little get a little exercise because I, I kind of feel that that's definitely uh, the best way to overcome an illness. And uh, def uh, we're also trying out the new chest harness, see how that works. I've had it for a few months and just didn't take the time to... Uh, really figure it out and so you guys will have to let me know what you think of it hopefully it will work well we will see i'm going to angle it a little bit higher this will be angle number two and uh we'll see how that goes um i do appreciate you guys and gals coming along um whether that's two or three of you or hundreds doesn't really matter I'm just uh, very grateful that you would take the time to uh, go on these little adventures with me. And uh, if you like what you see, please uh, take the time to, to like the video and subscribe. And that would be great. And then we can uh, go on these little, little trips together. Right, Happy? Yeah. Happy's ready to go. So let's get back on the bike, shall we? <laughs> Happy Lou Malone. Sorry guys. Have a good one. Good girl. He's running happy. So much fun. It'd be great if she would uh, get over that whole hating people thing. But what are you gonna do? Eventually she will, I hope. Odd that she chooses not to go over the bridge. <laughs> Oops. Stay on the trail, people. <coughs> I'll admit the COVID's kind of kind of got me at the moment. My Lungs are really kind of hurting.
I say about taking it easy? A lad. Totally wished out. Mm. Not sure if that looks steep or not to you guys, but I can assure you it was. Oh, oh. This is a I've done this before. Ah, there we go. Finally made it. That was a much better way to get over that little thing. So I lowered the angle again, pretty much back to where I had it the first time. Let's see if that works a little better. In fact, it might be even lower than it was. Yuck. Right now my saddle's in its utmost position. And it looks to me like the angle's too low. I'm gonna go it up a hair. Let's see how that goes. The white angleness of it should actually make it work. We'll find out. If it doesn't work, I apologize ahead of time. You're all happy. Happy knew the trail better than me. Good girl. Good girl. You're so fast. Good job, happy dudes. Whoop. Yep. Oh, and there's the truck. I'm so quick. Oh. All right. Yeah. Well, lords and ladies, that was absolutely fantastic. Probably one of the best rides of my whole life. I am happy to have uh, survived the COVID. Um, I've been unlooking forward to that for a uh, little over a year or so now, <laughs> along with most of us. And um, glad to be recovering from it. I hope that you and your family uh, is keeping happy and healthy. And uh, if you have any questions or anything about COVID or bikes or dogs or anything, uh, just feel free to leave them in the comments. And uh, Happy and I appreciate you guys and gals coming along. Um, I hope you have a great day. Take care.